my name is Slavika Bogdanov and I own and operate uh, Attractitude. Attractitude is a platform uh, web-based where you can basically find uh, all the tools that you need uh, in order to improve your life in all different aspects of life, whether it is financial or uh, health-wise or spiritual or in the law of attraction or uh, more in the budget or in the investing field. So we basically have specialists and professionals that are there to help you uh, improve uh, any area of life that you need to have improved. I wanted to do this video uh, to give you 10 quick tips and easy to use tips to save time and also be more successful. I think it can be useful and sometimes we forget them, they're so easy, they're so right there in front of our face. So I thought of putting them down into 10 easy steps if you do all of ten good for you if you do only a few well it's still good so step one prepare your week in advance um, that means not only uh, look at your agenda and first and foremost get an agenda in any way or form please do it's very important if you want to save time you got to write things down and manage your time so get an agenda, whether it's electronic or paper, but do first step. So plan your week. So it's not about just writing in your agenda what you want to do for the following week, but set yourself a goal, what you want to achieve during that week. That's a very important success step. So if you uh, plan ahead and you put a one, at least one single goal that you want to see accomplished by the end of the week, that will help you greatly to actually get there. And if you plan your week a week ahead and lay everything down with times uh, for, for relaxation, times for play as well, not just booking it anything, everything, uh, you'll be more uh, efficient So and, and your time will be better spent. So that's rule number one. Number two, prepare tomorrow the day before. So just before you go to bed or if find five minutes uh, just before supper uh, to sit down in a quiet place and just you know look at your agenda for the next day and just think uh, what's the priority how you're gonna manage that day uh, what's the most important thing just to keep it in mind before you end the day and rule number three in the morning when you wake up take five minutes to basically list your priorities of the day that does not mean that you're gonna list priorities of other people or other what the emails suddenly suggest you should do that day. No, you're gonna list your priorities and not your emergencies. Priorities are basically what is important to you to achieve the goal that you set yourself at the end of the week. Emergencies have their place, but if no one's dying or no one's giving birth, uh, there's no such thing as a huge emergency unless the building's burning down but that's another issue so um, number four once you uh, write down your priority start with a one that is priority number one even if it's the one that you hate doing the most start with that one and get rid of it get rid of your largest pre priority and what I would say is not think about it, not repeat it in your brain how many times you want to do it. Just do it. Move yourself. And while you do it, be at your task. It means focus. Focus on what you're doing while you're doing it. And you'll see the task will be done much faster. That's a great way to save time and also reach your goals. Be more successful. Number five. learn how to say no that means that if your phone is ringing and you have not planned to have a conversation of 20 minutes with the person calling you you are not answering that phone you can call back when you decide that the time is proper so don't let the again the emergencies of other become your emergencies and know when to say no so if somebody asks you to go uh, for a supper with a lot of friends and it's going to be a huge party and it looks a lot of fun but then you know that to reach your goal the 
the next morning you have to be quite in shape to start the day early for something else you need to do well you need to say no and then your the little kid inside of you will know when to play because you'll allow it also to have some fun but that's very important if you want to reach your goals so number six understand the Pareto principle the Pareto principle is the root rule of 80 20 if you don't know what it is please uh, send me a quick email or a comment or go on Wikipedia or uh, or just email me I'll be more than happy to to explain it to you so uh, the Pareto rules uh, is the 80 20 rule so it means that somewhere along the line in your time schedule uh, 80% of your time is wasted doing something that only brings you 20% of results. It's huge, huge time wasted. How is time wasted? For example, searching for a phone number. On your task you've written in the morning, I need to call Paul. But you didn't write next to Paul the number of Paul. So when you reach that task, well, then you, you spend 10 minutes trying to find Paul's number. A lot of people are spending a lot of time wasting their time searching. Be organized. Be disciplined into being organized. Put the stuff always in the same spot so that you don't forget where it is. Your socks, your keys, your hat, the, the umbrella, your shoes, whatever, the numbers, the addresses, uh, the phone, uh, the phone, your cell phone, the remote control, whatever. Uh, a lot of people are wasting a lot of time for useless things and the 20% of time that's going to bring you 80% of results then really use that time for the 80% of results and then you're going to be extremely efficient and you're going to see that you're going to have a lot more time on your hands basically what that also means is know how to <coughs> give work to somebody else so don't keep jobs that are wasting your time. Know how to give away. <coughs> Sorry, it shows that it's live. Huh? So um, rule number nine, you have approximately 84,600 seconds a day. So don't waste any of it. If you decide to be unproductive, you decide not to do anything, decide you know sit down and be unproductive you have that right you know if you decide to take a one hour break don't feel guilty about it just do it but then if you decide that you're gonna work for four hours on a project work four hours on a project you know and use those seconds every single second is a second that comes only once in your life you know a whole universe can change in one blink of an eye one second it's huge so use them you really properly don't waste the time that you've been given because you don't know how much time you have on this planet we always think we have all the time in the world until you know it's the last second we are there and then it's over so use every second you have because it only comes once every day you know every day is really a gift because it only comes once you'll never see that day again once it's done it's finished you go to bed it's over then that day if you didn't do something to reach your goal or to, to fill someone's other life with happiness, to give someone a smile, to share a laughter, to do something good for humankind, or to advance in you know the direction you want to go, that day is gone. So try to make the best of it for you and for others, of course. And you'll see that you'll be extremely successful when you know that you know every day can be your last day and rule number 10 which is quite important because a lot of people forget to do it and basically it's how you become better as a human uh, make a little you know list of of your day at the end of the day look at what happened look at the positive look at the negative uh, forgive yourself for the negative but you know look at the mistakes and not as mistakes and as ways to you know uh, beat yourself up but more as ways to figure out you know how you could have done that better so that next time you do it better and look at the positive things as well that you've done that day and congratulate yourself on the successes that you had you know every day is full with successes we have many to be grateful for 
So be grateful for your day, for everything that you had in in encountered, uh, the good and bad, and uh, because even the bad sometimes opens a good door at the end of th at the end of the day. So make a little you know a little write up of uh, of the good and the bad, and then uh, keep it uh, put it aside, you know, and then figure out what's your, what's your next day gonna be like, and do that regularly and you'll see you'll have much more time on your hands, you'll be much more successful in everything you do. And if you know, if you want to know, or you know someone that wants to know more about uh, time management and how to acquire more time in life, be s more successful using that time properly, there is a training session on attractitude.com that can teach you that. So, um, if you have questions, if you have comments, please contact me at attractitude.com. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And I hope that we get to meet one day or talk. In the meantime, I wish you all the time in the world. Thank you and have a great day.